State senators continue to deliberate whether to remove Attorney General P Ken Paxton from office. They're deliberating right now. Hello, I'm Steve Eager. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. Closing arguments in his impeachment trial wrapped up just before noon. Let's go to Fox 4's Blake Hansen in with a look at the fiery moments on the Senate floor because, Blake, both sides are making their final points. Yeah, Heather and Steve, going on about five hours of deliberations now. And unlike an ordinary trial, the senators do not have to reach a unanimous verdict. They'll vote individually with 21 votes needed for just one one of the 16 impeachment articles in order for Paxton to be removed from office. Before senators retired to deliberate, we heard final pleas from both sides. For the first time since the first day of the trial, Attorney General Ken Paxton was in the Senate chamber to hear arguments both for and against booting him from office. I have no idea of how long the jury is going to deliberate. It could be hours, it could be days. Just before sending senators off for deliberations, both sides used one hour each to close with two starkly different approaches. The Constitution charges us with policing our own. If we don't keep public officials from abusing the capacity of their offices, then frankly, no one can. There's no doubt that these folks did not prove a case. They didn't prove a preponderance. They didn't prove anything other than they don't like Ken Paxton. House impeachment managers spent much of their time recapping evidence. They say it proves Paxton used his office for personal gain. They played clips of Paxton's former top deputies turned whistleblowers, some of whom watched from the gallery. With the House's final 10 minutes, Plano State Representative and Republican Jeff Leach sought to address his Senate colleagues from the heart. He was part of the entire House Republican delegation from Collin County, Paxson's home turf, to impeach the Attorney General in May. In voting to impeach General Ken Paxton, my dear friend, a political mentor, a brother in Christ, and a once trusted advisor this has not just been a hard vote. This has been one of the most difficult things I've ever had to do in my life. Meanwhile, the defense spent its closing on the attack, accusing the House team of bringing shame to the Senate, attacking House Speaker Dade Phelan, and suggesting impeachment was some sort of conspiracy orchestrated by George P. Bush, who unsuccessfully opposed Paxton in the last Republican primary. The Bush era in Texas ends today. We thought it had ended in the primary when Ken Paxton beat George P. Bush 68 to 32. Well, we thought it was over. It wasn't. Well, now we have an impeachment. It ends today. They can go back to Maine. This is Texas. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick says they'll go until at least 8 tonight. Senators can go home before returning for deliberations tomorrow morning, but they are limited on communications and they're not supposed to consume any news coverage. Again, the verdict does not have to be unanimous, so we do not expect deliberations to drag on too much longer.